distinguished board, distinguished colleagues, first of all, I am very thankful for uh, being invited to the forum. I'd like to share our results. Uh, the combined treatment in uh, patients suffering from cervical cancer. I am not going to get into details of this statistic. Uh, re despite uh, the expectations in uh, 1986 uh, of the fourth uh, conference of oncologists, uh, uh, that uh, uh, there were hopes uh, that this disease uh, will be eradicated, but now we see the increase in the incidence rate of the disease and uh, the patients are becoming younger. The history of the treatment of the cervical cancer at the end of the 19th century, the first publications by Verheim and uh, Dr. Claves in uh, from the United States where the indications for surgical treatment and technical uh, technique of surgery uh, were described up and all the uh, in 1903 Clavis made the first publication about the use of the radium in patients suffering from cervical cancer uh, so, and since at that time, all the patients, uh, they were exposed to radiation uh, therapy. And only in, 19, in the 1970s, in the leading oncological centers and in the center named by Petrov, uh, there was uh, the concept to individualize the treatment of these patients. Uh, large trials uh, were conducted that proved uh, uh, the effectiveness of combined treatment. Quite all uh, these uh, papers, uh, they laid the foundation for our day-to-day -day work. If we are talking about current tendency as to the treatment of cervical cancer, in the first stages, uh, we may cite uh, the words by Professor Bochmann. Uh, uh, no, it's not the method that is important, but how it's been performed. In case of the regional cancer, chemo and radio treatment is uh, recognized as a, a, a well-proof treatment increasing survival. And of course, it's a counterindication to combine uh, the surgical and radiation therapy. Since uh, the second stage, FIGO data, all the patients uh, uh, from second stage, uh, they are exposed to chemo and radiation therapy. In Russia, chemo and radiation, uh, we conduct only in 10% of patients. In the general statistical data, this viral, uh, we don't have this data, uh, we shall According to publications, uh, the survival rate uh, in the range of 17 to 43 percent, and it's not a satisfactory figure from my point of view. If we look at uh, the localization of relapses according to FIGO, uh, and it amounts to 31 percent, and the half of these relapses is localized in the uh, position of the primary tumor. It speaks about the fact that initial treatment turned out to be insufficient. 20% of uh, relapses for uh, remote metastasis, mostly paraortic lymph nodes and uh, their lungs. Here we can talk about uh, additional adjuvant treatment, maybe. In our trial, uh, we studied 500 patients uh, with the 2A, 3B. We studied neoadjuvant chemo and radiation therapy 
30 gray, summarized uh, dose, and cyst platin 40 milligram per cubic meter. Uh, then uh, they were sent for radiation therapy or they were operated according to the result. After the surgery, uh, we finished uh, uh, radiation therapy in control group. Uh, there were patients with uh, Kema plus radiation. Uh, these gray uh, quadrants, according to new recommendations, Uh, they can't be applied in general hospitals. We have to stick to the standards. During the last year and a half, we have the group with near adjuvant chemotherapy. Uh, they received taxol and carboplatin, then assessment of the effect and uh, decision is to be made uh, about the following treatment. In this situation, we don't uh, apply radiation therapy. And uh, instead of radiation therapy, we started to use neoadjuvant chemotherapy, and we started to compare uh, these two uh, treatment modalities. Neoadjuvant chemotherapy, a great number of papers are devoted to this uh, way of treatment. In our country, we have the leading scientists for a very long time, it was considered uh, that neoadjuvant therapy is uh, not effective in case of cervical cancer. Uh, these trials, uh, they sh confirmed the results of that neoadjuvant chemotherapy plus surgery or uh, chemo and radiation therapy showed the better results comparing to the singular treatment. Uh, this is uh, the stages. Uh, mostly 2B, 3B patients. Uh, the age from 40 up to 55 years of age, the majority main group. As to histological type, there was squamous cancer. If we compare these two groups so with neoadjuvant chemo and radiation therapy and neoadjuvant chemotherapy, uh, they were comparable according to the stages, according to the histology, according to the uh, age as well. Average age, 47 years of age. Comorbidities were assessed as well. They were related to, to cardiovascular system, uh, renal impairment, and uh, they were similar in both groups. In neoadjuvant chemotherapy group, uh, their uh, ovarian cysts, uh, they were more frequently seen. Uh, during the first phase, uh, we assessed toxicity of these uh, therapeutic regimens. And uh, it turned out that they will, uh, the, it was comparable. It's hematological toxicity, vomiting, and nausea of the first and second degree. They were managed uh, quite well and without um, deteriorating results. Patients who received chemo plus radiations, in some cases, uh, they were uh, cystitis, uh, radiation cystitis, and radiation rectitis, and they were managed quite well. These are the results of neoadjuvant treatment. Uh, please notice the fact uh, that objective response, full and partial response, uh, were more frequent in patients with chemo plus radiation, 51% comparing to 36% only with neoadjuvant chemotherapy. We assess uh, regress of the tumor according to the morphological assessment. In uh, full 68%, it's uh, a morphological regress. As a result, we operated 84% of patients from chemo and radio group and 58% from chemotherapy group. Operations, uh, regardless, a great number of papers uh, that say that uh, there are there may be many complications after chemo and radiation treatment. Uh, we didn't have these kind of complications after chemotherapy after 
radiation therapy, the most frequent complications were bleeding, manageable bleeding, and uh, uh, hospital stay was uh, not more than 10 days after operation. Uh, we have started uh, using neoadjuvant chemotherapy quite recently. Uh, we assessed only one year survival rate, disease-free survival. And even uh, uh, we have the result that chemo radio group uh, showed better results comparing, comparing with the chemo group. Only in the uh, second B stage, uh, these uh, figures turned out to be similar. The results in HEMA radio group uh, is uh, higher comparing. In a combined treatment, uh, when there is neoadjuvant plus radiation therapy plus operation, the results turned out to be better. Disease-free five-year survival of combined treatment comparing chemo, radio, and chemotherapy. Chemo plus radio turned out to be better comparing only uh, with uh, chemotherapy. The combined treatment turned out to be statistically significantly better comparing to uh, radiation and chemo, especially in case of 2B and 3 stage. Oh, and we had seven patients who, after neoadjuvant treatment, uh, we underestimate uh, the advancement of the tumor. The patient had some infiltrations on the pelvic walls. And survival of these patients turned out to be similar comparing to patients who receive chemo plus uh, radiation therapy. According to FIGOR results, you can see that starting from the second stage, uh, the advantage of the combined treatment is better, especially uh, in a group of patients with the lymph nodes metastasis five years survival after combined treatment of the third stage, 60% comparing to 30% if only uh, radiation therapy is used. The quality of life to, uh, showed better results uh, with the combined treatment and also the advantages of a combined treatment comparing to uh, radiotherapy. Uh, please uh, remember the risk of radio-induced uh, neoplasia. Uh, distance radiation is not associated with the radio-induced tumors, but uh, distance radiation is used in the combined regimen. Concluding, I'd like to suggest that exclusion from the clinical recommendations, the use of a combined treatment, including chemo, radio, and plus operation, may be considered and preserved and used in some group of patients.